Even professional drivers push the limits of the law, and the state patrol is keeping an extra close eye on commercial trucks. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Mike Johnson. And I'm Alexandra Renslow. As Renee Bonneau reports, troopers want to make sure they and the cars around them are on their best behavior. State troopers have enough to think about when pulling over a regular car. Do you know what the speed limit is out here today, sir? For members of the commercial vehicle enforcement team, their work is multiplied. That's a pretty heavy load when you're talking about an 18-wheel semi. I mean, we want to make sure that the brakes are all working properly, they can stop appropriately, they're carrying the right credentials, the load that they're carrying is properly secured, anything like that. This week, they're stepping up patrols as part of a nationwide effort with the Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance. With commercial vehicles, the vehicles are oftentimes uh, quite a bit larger than a passenger car, so when they are involved in a crash, there's a lot more damage. Uh, more injuries and unfortunately more fatalities. Troopers will pull over commercial drivers for violations such as speeding, cell phone use or lack of seatbelt use. They'll then check out the driver's paperwork and maybe do a vehicle inspection. Troopers aren't just targeting commercial vehicles, they'll stop anybody who's driving recklessly around a commercial vehicle. We're always on the lookout for cars that are cutting off trucks, not giving them enough space, riding in their blind spots, driving aggressively around them. The State Patrol hopes this blitz will remind everyone to be mindful on the road. 71 in the left lane there. Especially when a commercial vehicle is nearby. Renee Bonneau, 12 News. Commercial drivers who are stopped for speeding or distracted driving pay the same fine that regular drivers do, but serious violations could affect someone's commercial driver's license status.